Welcome to Chapter 4. Income and Expense Accounts. Part of Practical Bookkeeping Theory. Brought to you by the Association of Practical Accounts. APA. Hi, my name is Paul, together with Kate, to take you through this chapter. We only appear on this slide, but we'll be talking to you through the whole chapter. To get the best from us, we request for silence and maximum attention. However, if there is anything not clear, please pause or replay the video, as many times as you want. We wish you a good learning session. Chapter Overview 4. Point. Incomes is on slide 5. 4.2 Expenses is on slide 15. 4.3 Direct expenses is on slide 19. 4.4. Disallowed expenses is on slide 31. 4.5. Indirect expenses is on slide 39. 4.6. Employee costs is on slide 41. 4.7. Premises costs is on slide 47. 4.8. Maintenance costs is on slide 52. 4.9. Administrative expenses is on slide 55. 4.10. Motor expenses is on slide 60. 4.11. Travel and subsistence is on slide 64. 4.12. Promotion and entertainment is on slide 67. 4.13. Professional fees. Is on slide 70. 4.14. Bad debts. Is on slide 73. 4.15. Interest charges. Is on slide 75. 4.16. Finance charges. Is on slide 78. 4.17. Depreciation and Disposal is on slide 82. 4.18. Other Expenses is on slide 84. Section 4.1. Income Accounts. An income is what a business receives from the sale of goods and services, for either cash or on credit. A cash sale is, where payment is received before the goods and services are passed on. A credit sale is where payment is received later, after the customer has received the goods, or used the service. Customers allowed to buy on credit are debtors. Income is split into the groups of turnover and other income. The accounts are illustrated below. Income is split into the groups of turnover and other income. In turnover we have two accounts which are sales or takings, and fees or charges. Other income is a group for incomes that exclude sales or fees. They include commission income, rent income, interest income, insurance compensation, plus any other income. Turnover is the income, which comes from the sale of goods and services. Sales takings account is for recording income from the sale of goods, for either cash or on credit. Next is an illustration. The sales account is illustrated here. Takings is a term used for all received payments, cash sales plus debtor payments. Any income from the sale of goods and services can be recorded on the sales account. Fees charges account is for income received for services provided to customers or clients. Other income is a group for incomes that exclude sales or fees. They include commission income, rent income, interest income, insurance compensation, plus any other income.
commission income account is for income received in return for a service done for other people or businesses. An example is a commission on the sale of lotto tickets. Rent income account is for income received from renting part of business premises. Interest income account is for income received in return for depositing money with a bank or charged to debtors for delayed payments. Insurance compensation account is for payments received from insurance companies that restore a financial loss incurred. Any other income account is reserved for any income not recorded on specific income accounts. Section 4.2 Expenses An expense is the financial value of a good or service used in trying to make profit. Most expenses are in form of a purchase. A purchase is a good or service bought for cash or on credit. Examples are stock, raw materials, machines, rent, wages, banking, insurance, and others. A purchase becomes an expense if it's used up in a financial year. Unused purchases remain as assets, like closing stock, prepayments, and fixed assets. This is a classification of expenses into two sub-classifications, which are also split into groups, as illustrated. Expenses are classified into direct and indirect expenses. Direct expenses is the money spent directly on what is sold by a business. Indirect expenses refers to general expenses not directly related to what is sold. Section 4.3. Direct Expenses. These are classified into cost of sales, subcontractors, and other direct expenses. Cost of Sales. Group 4. This is a group of accounts, where we record the cost of what the business sold in a particular period. They are, opening stock, stock purchases, materials and consumables, closing stock plus cost of sales disallowed. Opening stock account is for recording the value of ray sale items, raw materials, work in progress, and consumables, available at the start of a financial year. Work in progress WIP is the value of partly processed raw materials. Opening stock for the current, new year is closing stock for the previous year. Stock purchases account is for recording what a business buys for ray sale. Materials and consumables account is for recording purchases for further processing or continuous use. Closing stock account is for recording the value of ray sale items, raw materials, work in progress, and consumables not sold or used by the year end and is derived through stock taking. Stock taking is the counting of unsold items, work in progress, consumables, plus raw materials, and valuing them at their cost price. Cost of sales disallowed account is for recording the purchase value of cost of sales not allowed for tax. Subcontractors Group 5 this is a group of accounts where we record payments made to businesses, which are subcontracted to do work, on behalf of the business we do accounts for. We have account 13 for subcontractors, and account 14 for subcontractors disallowed. Subcontracting is when business A employs business B, to do work, that business A is to be paid for. Subcontractors account is for recording payments made to other businesses, which are subcontracted to work on behalf of the business. Subcontractors disallowed account is for recording subcontracting expenses not allowed for tax. Other Direct Expenses Group 6 This is a group of accounts, where we record direct costs incurred that are not cost of sales or subcontractors. This includes direct labor, direct carriage costs, income discounts, commission expense, 
other direct expenses, plus other direct expenses disallowed. Direct labor account is for money paid to employees working directly on what is sold or produced. An example is wages for those in manufacturing or offloading a truck. Direct carriage costs account is for money spent on transporting business purchases. Income discount account is for money reduced from a set price. Reasons could be a regular buyer, large quantities, or paying promptly. Commission expense account is for payments to individuals or other businesses that sell on behalf of the business. Other direct expenses account is for recording direct costs not recordable on specific accounts. Other direct expenses disallowed account is for any other direct cost that is not allowed for tax purposes. Section 4.4 Disallowed expenses. An allowed expense is one which can be deducted before getting the net profit or loss accepted by the tax authorities. A disallowed expense is one which should not be included on the list of expenses when calculating tax. If it was included and deducted, then it's added back to increase profit when calculating tax. The guidelines for allowed or disallowed expenses are 1. A supplier receipt or invoice to prove the expense is required. 2. It should not be for personal or domestic use. 3. It should not be a capital expense or fixed asset. 4. It should not be a fine or penalty for breaking the law and the associated legal costs. 5. It should not be a commuting cost between home and the usual place of work. 6. It should not be an expenditure on clothing that can be worn outside work. 7. The cost of education must be relevant to a person's employment. 8. Only meals and refreshments provided to employees while on business travel. If it's food it must be provided to all full-time employees. 9. If it's a bad debt, it must have been included as income, and all recovery steps have failed. 10. An interest expense is only allowed if the money was borrowed for the business. 11. A donation is only allowed if it's made to a registered charity. 12. Entertainment expenses are only allowed if the amount is below pounds 50 per person per year. 13. Wages paid to a sole trader, the taxes, their national insurance contributions, pension, and drawings are not allowed. 14. A percentage of motor expenses when a business vehicle is partly put to personal use are not allowed. 15. A single cost of improving or altering premises that exceeds pounds 1,000 is treated as an asset and not an expense. It's the capital allowance which is allowed in this case. Section 4.5 Indirect Expenses Indirect expenses are purchases made to facilitate the buying, processing, and selling activities of a business. They are general expenses, which are not directly related to what was sold or produced by a business, and are commonly known as overhead expenses. We have 68 accounts, which are grouped as follows, employee costs, premises costs, maintenance costs, and administrative expenses, motor expenses, travel and subsistence, promotion and entertainment, professional costs, bad debts, interest charges, finance charges, depreciation and disposal, plus other expenses. Section 4.6 Employee Costs Group 7 This is a group of accounts where we record expenses incurred on people employed by the business. 
This includes gross wages, employers and I, temporary staff, recruitment costs, staff training, staff welfare, other employee costs, plus employee costs disallowed. Gross wages account as for remuneration due to employees, before any deductions. Employers NI account national insurance contributions is for contributions towards the social benefits for employees. This includes medical care and retirement benefits. Temporary staff are people who work for short periods. Recruitment costs include advertising, interviewing etc. Staff training account is for improving the working ability of employees. Staff welfare account is for employee requirements like medical care, year-end party, etc. Other employee costs account is for employee-related expenses not recordable on specific accounts. Employee costs disallowed account is for employee-related expenses not allowed for tax purposes. An example is sole trader wages. Hi, we thank you for your cooperation through the past slides. We hope you are gaining some knowledge in the process. Please remember to note down anything important or requires clarification. You may discuss with a colleague, an accountant, or a tutor nearby. Your next option is attending our free online tutorials, where you ask any questions. Your last resort is sending an email to admin at practicalaccounts.com. If you need to have a break, just press the pause button. Otherwise, we keep firing on all cylinders. All we need is your silence and undivided attention. Thank you. Section 4.7 Premises Costs Group 8 This is a group of accounts where we record expenses incurred in relation to the place of work. This includes rent, home office use, council charges, water, electricity, gas, premises, insurance and security, cleaning, plus premises costs disallowed. Premises can be an office, a shop, a warehouse, or a market stall. Rent account is for the use of premises or buildings not belonging to the business. Home office use account is a portion of the owner's home expenses, a portion to the business, because some business work is done in the owner's personal home. Council charges include ground rates or business rates. Water account is for water bills. Electricity account is for electricity bills, excluding electrical repairs. Gas account is for gas bills. Property insurance and security account is for insurance premiums and security expenses. Cleaning account is for cleaning consumables including soap, chemicals, and dusters. Premises cost disallowed account is for premises cost disallowed for tax. Section 4.8. Maintenance costs. Group 9. This is a group of accounts where we record expenses incurred to maintain business assets and facilities. This includes repairs and maintenance, machine and equipment hire, equipment below 300 pounds, Software not capitalized. Plus maintenance cost disallowed. Repairs and maintenance account for the costs of maintaining business assets and facilities buildings, furniture, equipment, machinery. An example is painting. Machine and equipment hire account for hiring expenses. Equipment below 300 pounds account for equipment costing less than the equivalent of 300 pounds. Examples are a mobile phone and calculator. Software not capitalized account, if it's fully written off in the year of purchase. 
Maintenance cost disallowed account for any maintenance costs not allowed for tax purposes. Section 4.9 Administrative Expenses Group 10 This is a group of accounts where we record expenses incurred to support the general activities of the business. Administrative expense accounts include telephone, other communication, postage, courier services, stationery and printing, subscriptions and references, business insurance, refreshments, meals at work, plus administrative expenses disallowed. Telephone account for monthly bills and airtime. Other communications account for internet, faxing, etc. Postage account for stamps and packing costs. Courier services account for special delivery like DHL. Stationery and printing account for bought paper, books, pens, receipt books, etc. Subscriptions and reference account for contributions made to organizations like ACCA, Chamber of Commerce and reference books bought. Business insurance account for premiums paid. Refreshments account for items like juices, tea, sugar, excluding food. Meals at work account for allowed meal expenses. Administrative expenses disallowed account for any administrative expenses not allowed for tax. Section 4.10 Motor Expenses Group 11 This is a group of accounts for recording expenses incurred on all motor vehicles owned by a business, excluding personal vehicles. Motor expense accounts include Petrol and diesel Vehicle maintenance Vehicle insurance Other vehicle expenses Plus motor expenses disallowed. Petrol and diesel account is for business fuel. Vehicle repairs, parts and service account is for vehicle maintenance. Vehicle insurance account is for only vehicle insurance premiums. Other motor expenses account for motor expenses not recordable on specific motor related accounts. Motor expenses disallowed account for motor expenses disallowed for tax. Examples are traffic fines and penalties. Section 4.11 Travel and Subsistence Group 12 This is a group of accounts for recording expenses incurred while traveling on business-related issues. This includes mileage allowance, travel tickets and taxi, hotel and meals overnight, plus travel and subsistence disallowed. Mileage allowance account for refunds to employees using personal vehicles, base travel miles. Travel tickets and taxis account for all travel tickets on business-related journeys. This excludes daily transport to and from home. Hotels and subsistence account for accommodation and meals on a business journey. Travel and subsistence disallowed account for travel and subsistence expenses disallowed for tax. An example is the daily commuting expense between home and work. Section 4.12 Promotion and Entertainment Group 13 this is a group of accounts for recording expenses aimed at increasing sales. This includes advertising, sales promotion, entertainment up to 50 pounds, plus promotion and entertainment disallowed. Advertising account for advertisement on radio, television, newspapers, and others. Sales promotion account for the cost of free samples, exhibitions, etc. Entertainment account for what is spent on existing customers, and attracting new ones. In UK it's restricted to £50 per customer. 
promotion and entertainment disallowed account for promotion and entertainment expenses disallowed for tax. Section 4.13 Professional Fees Group 14 This is a group of accounts for recording expenses incurred on independent professionals providing services. This includes legal fees, accountancy charges, other professional fees, plus professional fees disallowed. Legal fees account for expenses on lawyers or attorneys. Accountancy charges account for bookkeeping and accountancy expenses. Other professional fees account for professional expenses not recordable on the above two accounts. Professional fees disallowed account for any professional fees disallowed for tax. Section 4.14 Bad Debts Group 15 This is a group of accounts for recording debts not paid by debtors. This includes bad debts and the bad debts disallowed accounts. Bad debts account for debtors who fail to pay. Bad debts disallowed account for any bad debts disallowed for tax. Section 4.15 Interest Charges, Group 16 This is a group of accounts for recording interest charged to the business. This includes overdraft interest, loans interest, higher purchase interest, other interest, plus interest charges disallowed. Overdraft interest account for interest charged on a bank overdraft. An overdraft is a short period bank borrowing, allowed to current account holders. Loans interest account is for interest paid on a loan. A loan is borrowed money. Higher purchase interest account for interest on higher purchase amounts outstanding. Higher purchases paying installments for an asset already being used by a buyer. Other interest account for any other interest not recordable on the other interest accounts. An example is credit card interest. Interest charges disallowed account for interest charges disallowed for tax. Section 4.16 Finance Charges Group 17 This is a group of accounts for recording finance-related charges that are not interest. This includes bank charges, credit card charges, loan fees, overdraft fees, higher purchase charges, other finance costs, plus finance charges disallowed. Bank charges account for charges imposed by the bank for maintaining the business account. This includes monthly charges, commissions, etc. Credit card charges account for a fixed fee paid monthly plus penalties for delays and the exceeding limits. Loan fees account for any charges relating to borrowed money, excluding interest. An example is the loan arrangement fee. Overdraft fees account for overdraft arrangement fees and over-limit fees. An overdraft is allowed to current account holders. Higher purchase charges account is used if an asset is hired for a longer period like a year. Other finance costs account for finance-related expenses not recordable on specific accounts. Finance charges disallowed account for finance charges disallowed for tax. Section 4.17 Depreciation and Disposal Group 18 this is a group of accounts for recording values of fixed assets sold or depreciated. Depreciation is the loss in the value of a fixed asset, written off to the profit and loss account. This includes the depreciation charge and fixed assets disposal accounts. Depreciation account for fixed asset values written off. Fixed assets disposal account for fixed assets sold off. There is no disallowed account, since both accounts are disallowed for tax purposes. Section 4.18 
Other expenses. Group 19. This is a group of accounts for recording expenses, which don't fit in the other groups. This includes, donations, sundry expenses, plus other expenses disallowed. Donations account for donations to registered charities. Sundry expenses account for expenses not recordable on any other account. Other expenses disallowed account for donations and sundry expenses disallowed for tax.